Hi, this is Stories and Such with Ms. Susie. Today's story is The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. If you have a copy of this, you could put this on pause, get your copy, and rejoin me. Once there was a tree. And she loved a boy. And every day the boy would come and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb her trunk and swing from her branches. and eat apples and they would play hide and seek and when he was tired he would sleep in her shade and the boy loved the tree very much and the tree was happy But time went by, and the boy grew older, and maybe taller, too. And the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches. Eat my apples and play in my shade and be happy. Uh, I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I only have leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so... The boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away, and the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back, and the tree shook with joy, and she said, Come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing for my branches and be happy. Oh. I'm too busy to climb the tree, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm. I want a wife and I want children. And I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But you may cut off my branches and build a home. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. Ah, oh, I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make the boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down the trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give. My apples are gone. Uh, my teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. 
My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. Ugh, I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. Ugh, I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. Oh, I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. This is a picture of Shel Silverstein, the author and the illustrator of the book. If you'd like to, you could get a piece of paper, a green marker or crayon, whatever you have, even pastels, and a brown marker, crayon, or pastels, and a sheet of paper. I'm going to show a quick activity that goes right along with our story. First, take that brown marker or color that you have and sketch out a tree and put some branches on that tree. And there's my tree. And you can do some coloring. And because of time, I'm just going to start doing that for a little bit. I'm going to show you just one little branch. And you can do it and complete it a bit later. Then you take your green color. And we're going to put some leaves on our tree, just like in the story. And I'm going to make them larger than normal. Whatever kind of a leaf you like. And this is my giving tree. And what I like to give away is I like to give away love. And again, you can go to the next branch. It could be the same kind of a leaf. You can mix it up. You are the creator of your tree. And I also love to give away. So I had love to start with. And I also like to give away my talents. One of my talents is I like to read storybooks. And I like to read them out loud. And you can do whatever you would like with that tree, and you can put in as many leaves as you want to. And this is your giving tree. So I'm just going to put Ms. Susie's, now you get to see my name, Ms. Susie's giving tree. And if you need help with that, you don't even have to put this on here. This activity is for anybody. From little kids all the way up to adults. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time. I hope you have a wonderful day. Ta-ta!